Here with us, special treat, Charlie James from Radio Station 1250 WTMA. We're going to recap some things that happened this week. Let's get started. Okay, the debate. Yes. You have an opportunity that we don't always have when we're sitting in the studio to right. talk to listeners. They call in. What are, mm -hmm. what are the people in the low country saying? Well, everybody's got different uh, positions. Of course, the debate was very lively. Of course, we expected that to be. I don't think it really changed anybody's mind. I do think Donald Trump had a little better performance in this debate than he has on the past, too. But I still think Donald Trump supporters are Donald Trump supporters, <laughs> Hillary Clinton supporters are Hillary Clinton supporters. And I don't know what's going on with the undecideds. I mean, we've <laughs> only had a little over a year to make up your mind. I don't know how much more information these people need to make up their mind. I mean, Hillary Clinton announced in April of last year Donald Trump announced in June of last year, and here we are less than three weeks away. It's time to get that informed decision to be made. But you know, the big talking point of the debate was the fact that Donald Trump would not commit to accepting the election results. Mm. Now, I certainly don't blame him for that right now. I mean, we haven't even seen the, uh, the election res results come in, and of course the Democrats didn't have a problem with that back in 2000. However, and a, uh, an issue came up this morning on my uh, radio program on WTMA. We had several listeners calling in saying, hey, Charlie, I received an absentee ballot that I didn't ask for. Hmm. I did not request this absentee ballot. And several of them contacted their election commissions and the election commission says, yeah, we didn't send you an absentee ballot. So something fishy is going on there that because um, you have to go online and ask. There are several ways to do it, but one of the ways to, to get an absentee ballot is to go online and request it. For that, you need your birthday and the last four digits of your Social Security number. So these people were receiving absentee ballots in their mailbox, right. and uh, some hijinks are going on somewhere. Either the election commissioner is sending these out by mistake, right. somebody's hacking into the website and requesting these ballots, or somebody out there is putting out bogus uh, absentee ballots so people will fill them in, figure, hey, I've already voted, I don't need to show up to the polls. Just real quick, we've only got about yeah. 10 to 15 seconds. Right. I don't want to miss this. We've got two major trials coming right. up. Just 10 seconds, Charlie. Can you do that? I will try. <laughs> well, what's going to happen with what these? We, what are we expecting? Well, we don't know what's going to happen with the trials, but we do know that the microscope of the world is going to be on Charleston Absolutely. over the next couple of weeks. We can certainly hope that the peace and the calm and the unity and the Charleston strong attitude that we had during, these, uh, the, during the commission of these crimes will certainly carry mm -hmm. over through the trials. Amen to that. A lot of pride in how we've responded Absolutely. thus far. Absolutely. Thank you, Charlie. I appreciate it. And we will be back live on News 2 midday just after the break.